making my mouth water. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Hey everybody, I'm Vera Stewart and welcome to The Very Vera Show. I'm very fortunate today to have a very special guest. Denise Shepard from Bluffton, South Carolina is joining me. And Denise and I actually met by chance, actually not by chance, by aroma, because I am walking with my husband through the farmer's market in Beaufort, South Carolina, and her products, the aroma, had us just like a magnet to your <laughs> booth. So Denise, tell us a little bit about what we're gonna be doing today on the show. Today we are going to be making my famous cinnamon rolls, and we are also going to be making a savory English muffin bread. Man, I mean, these just look fantastic. And you know, the farmer's market there has done so much to promote your business as well as many of the other local artisans there. Um, you know, for me, meeting you that day and having the actual maker of the products there has meant a lot to me in terms of being an entrepreneur. And so one of the things that Denise and I have really had fun with getting to know each other is some of the similarities of our business. So we're gonna get started in just a minute with these cinnamon rolls, and I can't wait, Denise, it's gonna be such a great time. Okay, I am ready to get started, Denise, and you know, we talked about the farmer's market, and Denise is the owner and baker of Yummy Buns in Bluffton. Yes, ma'am. And then you come to Buford to the Port Royal Farmer's Market Every to, Saturday. Every Saturday. Rain or shine. Rain or shine. We're In there. Fact, this past weekend, it was rain. It was raining. And a lot of people didn't show up, and you were there. I was there. You were there doing it. Okay, so we're going to get started on the, I guess, the, the mother product. Yes. The yummy bun. Yes. So what have you got going here on the stove? Okay, first we start off with some milk in our pan, and then we're going to add some vegetable oil to the milk. Okay. Just dump it right on in there. And then we also have some sugar, and we're gonna add this in. And you wanna keep this on like a medium heat. Okay. Start to stir it around. Our objective here is to get that sugar to melt. So we're just gonna stand here and just well, stir it. While you're it. stirring that, how did you get started doing this? Well, I have three children, and when my youngest started school, I decided that I would like to do something. And I've always had a passion for baking. I've baked my entire life, ever since I was a little girl. And I didn't want to go work for someone else, so I thought, what can I do? So I was pretty good at making cinnamon rolls. So I took a, about a year, and I started making different flavors, and I really came up with what I thought was a good product. <sighs> Taste tested it out, um, family and friends, they were I'm probably sick of them. We, we get up and we get to that market to, to get these rolls, and you know, that is a very similar story. I feel like I've heard this before. Oh, yeah. It sounds like me a that's little right, bit. That's right, that's right. Okay, so. Um, that just mixes until the sugar it does is mixes, dissolved? Yes, ma'am, and it, you don't want it to boil. Okay. If it does boil, that's okay. Just pull it off super quick, but you would I'd really prefer for it not to get okay. to the boiling stage. So it'll get to a nice yellow color. You'll feel it. The sugar is dissolved. And then we've got some that we've already done. Yes. Mm -hmm. All righty. Because once you pull this off, you want it to cool. So this is cooled. Yep, that's cooled already. All right. So we can just take that and pour it into the bowl. All righty. Mm. And after that's together. You know, the thing I think that I love the most is that the dough is so moist. I mean, yes. the, the cinnamon bun just melts in your mouth. Yes. Okay, so that's the yeast going yes. in. Yes, so then we sprinkle the yeast on top. And you don't really have to wait. I'm, some people like to wait for it, but with my yeast, it's the quick acting and it just oh, yeah. goes right in. Okay. So then we take the flour. And that's just and dumping. Yep. We take the fire and we just dump it in, just like so. Oh, I love that smell. The yeast, isn't it wonderful? Yes. So we're just going to stir that up. And this is the, the next stage of the dough. Once you okay. get all the flour incorporated, you're going to set this back to proof. And it takes about an hour for this to, uh, it'll, it's going to start to rise and, a know, little bit. A warm place in your kitchen, the mm -hmm. warming drawer. The warming drawer. Um, you know, we actually have a steam oven okay. in this kitchen, which could be used for that. Absolutely. But we went ahead and did some of that as well. We sure did. Okay, so I'll so, grab that. This is nice and incorporated. And I'm gonna sit, there we go. Right, so after that sat for an hour, it starts to look like this, and you can see what your yeast has done. And the final step of the dough is we add in some more flour. All right. 
Oh, it's such a pretty day, Isn't too. Isn't it pretty? It's yummy. It's yummy dough. Okay. And then uh, we have salt. And we have some baking powder. We're just gonna help it rise. And some baking soda. Okay. And then we're just gonna mix that up. You trust me? I do. And then I'll get my hands dirty at the end because this is <laughs> hard. It's not gonna incorporate all the all the uh, flour. You're gonna have right. to get your hands in there and knead it a little bit. Okay, but for right now, it's but just for right okay now. just to do it like, like mm -hmm. this. Okay, so yeast dough does have a process. It does. But it's almost kind of therapeutic. I love yeast dough. I know, it's just, it's, it's such a great thing. All right, so we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna get our hands dirty during the break. And That's when we right. come back, we're gonna get started on actually rolling actually it out rolling and out. putting the yummy, delicious filling. So come back with us in just a few minutes. Everybody. And if you're just joining me, I'm with Denise Shupard from Bluffton, South Carolina, the owner and founder and baker of Yummy Buns, who I was introduced to at the Port Royal Farmer's Market in Beaufort, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And we were really busy during the break. We were. I finished incorporating the flour into the yeast dough, and then we covered it up and you got to put it in the warming drawer. I know it, and let me tell you something, that Wolf warming drawer, I use it for everything, I not do. just keeping things warm. It's a great proofing box. It's excellent for proofing. You can't ask for a better product. No, it's, it's fantastic. All right, so now we're ready to go to the next step. What yes. you got there? Well, first we're gonna flour our surface, and then we've got our dough that has proofed and is ready to go. Look at it. Yeah, isn't that cute? She just ha manhandles that dough. That's right. <laughs> And we're just going to put it out. Now make sure it's kind of sticky, so make sure you've got a nicely floured surface. And you can take a little more flour and sprinkle it on the top, just like so. Oh. And do you Stretch want me to start it. making this filling yes, while you're working do, on please that? Please do, please do, yes. So gonna, we've got some yummy ingredients here. Uh huh. We're going to start out with butter. Always use butter, not margarine. So we're going to use butter, and we've oh, softened just, it a little oh, bit. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, we don't want to get it too uh, melting. It will. It won't. Uh, spread nicely, so you just want it warm. Brown sugar next. Mm -hmm. Brown Look sugar. Yeah, and you're using some pressure out. there too, I yes, see. Yes, yes, absolutely. It does take a little muscle. Cornstarch. Mm -hmm. Cornstarch will help keep it thick, so during the baking process, all oh, the filling won't well, get out of the rolls. Well, that's why it's so yummy. Exactly. You gotta keep all that. <laughs> Oh gosh, that, and the fact that that dough is still cold mm -hmm. makes it easier to work with, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. After it's proofed, I usually like to put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours, even up to overnight. Oh. It makes it much easier to work with. You can use it as soon as it's done, you know, the, the second proofing, but it's much easier to work with. Okay, well the cinnamon that I love to get, I'm, I'm just completely enthralled with all of the little seasoning packets that they have at the end of the counter mm -hmm. at the Fresh Market. Mm -hmm. There's something just really fresh and like just brand new when you buy these packets and they reseal. So this is the, the cinnamon in this and you are not shy with the filling in these no, rolls. No, absolutely not. I make them the way I like to eat them. And, and I love it, filling. And they're yummy. Well, you know, as I said, when, when we go to the market in Buford on Saturday, um, I mean, you literally cannot get a place to park anymore. I mean, we love to get there early because it, lately there's over a thousand people. Easily, easily. That there's new are, people coming every week too. We have our, our old customers, you know, that come week after week and we're always seeing some new friendly faces Okay, too. are you ready for this? That I am. That's good. I am. Okay, so do we dump it all in the middle and go That's out? That's what I do. Okay. Put it right nice on there and paste. Just, just spread it, you know, as evenly as you can. Okay, well, I've got my handy little metal spatula I'll, I'll try. Yeah. Metal spatula, a knife, anything. Oh. Yeah. Okay, do you go all the way to the edge? I go all the way to the bottom edge, but I try to leave at least an inch along the top. Okay. Helps, that helps the dough stick together. All right. If you've got the filling, it doesn't want to stick and your roll's going to open up. You know, kind of get it kind of gone out. I'm sure you do this. 
I could do it, it in my spl sleep. In your spl sleep. <laughs> I might let you take over so we can get all Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Oh, man, that is just. Doesn't that smell so good? So at this point, in terms of all the different flavors that you do, mm -hmm. um, is this, do you ever incorporate anything else into your fillings? Yes, I, I have about 30 different flavors that I do. So um, they range from fruit fillings. I do blueberries, raspberries, apples, pineapples. During the uh, fall, we like to do pumpkin. Springtime, I was doing a carrot cake roll. Oh my gosh! Um, there's just all kinds of things we that you can do with the rolls. We got to spread our wings. You my do. husband and I are stuck on two flavors that I usually do. Okay, so okay. that's looking pretty good. Yeah. So we get it up like that, and, and then, now she's gonna roll. Yeah, this is my favorite part. Oh! You just start at the at the bottom. And I kind of work my way sideways, just real quick movements, and we just roll it up. And once it once it starts to go, it just, it just goes, goes, you know. And it's such a nice dough to well, work with. Well, it looks with. like we're going to be working during the break again, which I'm sure you know. There's no rest at Very Vera. No. Up, no. Um, and when we come back from the break, we're going to get started on an English muffin bread mm -hmm. that is fantastic. But also in Vera's corner, I'm going to show you a little bit about a magic chocolate shell that you can make yourself. So come back with us in just a few minutes. Oh my goodness. When I was a child, my favorite thing was to get in the car and go to the Dairy Queen and get the vanilla ice cream that was dipped in the chocolate and it got hard and cracked. Loved it. Well, I'm gonna show you today how to make that same magic chocolate shell from scratch. You can use it on ice cream. You can decorate your plates with it for your favorite dessert. Lots of uses for this product. Start by choosing a high quality chocolate for your magic chocolate shell. I choose Hershey semi-sweet chips. Finely chop until you have about two cups. Place into a microwave safe container and add a fourth of a cup of refined coconut oil to the chocolate. It can be solid or liquid. Microwave in 30 second intervals until completely melted. Stir after each 30 second interval. Pour over ice cream and watch for the magic to happen. Come on now, you deserve more than that. Time to get cracking. Store this magic chocolate shell in your pantry and use on any of your favorite frozen treats. Thanks for watching Vera's Corner. Welcome back, everybody. And Denise, there is no rest during there the breaks none. on there the Vera's Vera show. And hopefully on Vera's Corner today, you might have picked up on something you didn't know is making the um, made-from-scratch magic chocolate shell. I did not know how so to make your that. So girls, they have three girls. So they those, will love that. They will love that. Mm -hmm. All right, so what did we do during the break? During the break, we let the cinnamon rolls proof. After they were done proofing, we put them in the oven for about 14 minutes and they have been baking. <gasps> and it smells fantastic in here. It does. All right, so now we're gonna get savory. Yes, ma'am. This is? This is an English muffin bread. Very versatile bread. You can use it for uh, breakfast. You can. It's great for grilled cheese sandwiches, um, uh, even French toast. That, that's if a you great let it go idea. for a day and make French toast with it, it's great, and it is super easy to do. All right. First, what we need to do is we need to add in some flour. And that's just plain all-purpose flour. Just plain flour. old all-purpose flour. And then we're going to add in a little sugar. And right after that, we've got some salt. Okay. okay. All the ingredients that you already have in your kitchen. That's right. We add in our yeast and a little bit of baking soda. So we're going to put that on the mixer just to combine it. Okay. And in the meantime, what you do is you take some milk and water and you just heat it up just a little bit. You don't okay. want it boiling or scalding, you just want it warm. warm. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for that? Yep, this is all ready. It's just a quick mix for it. Okay. And let me see if I can do this without making a gigantic mess. There you go. Ooh. 
I love these big glass bowls on these mixers, I too. I do, too. You can see everything. You can see everything, and the flour doesn't go slinging all over <laughs> the kitchen. <laughs> okay, so should I be buttering this left Yes, ma'am. While you're doing that, you need to butter the sides and the bottom of the pan. But oh, this is the fun part. Isn't that cute? And this is just a small left pan. Yep. Eight inch will do. You can do it in a nine. The eight inch is going to give you a fuller, fuller loaf. And this, and you know, you've got lots of, you know, your booth is always just crammed full of everything. But let me tell you something. If you want to go, you better get there early. Because she sells out. It is true. It's crazy. All right. So after it's been buttered, you're going to add some cornstarch to the bottom and the sides again. And this mixes for about three minutes after you incorporate a little bit of the... Uh, All of this? Oh, no. No, no, oh, just a much. little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just I got to, happy. Just to coat it. I'll put some of that Like back. when you're doing a cake and you, uh, you know, grease and flour the pan. We're, oh, we're greasing okay. and cornmealing. So corn we're doing mealing. the cornmeal. Yes, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Now I get it. It's just like when you have a, an English muffin. You've got that nice cornmeal you know, on the top of it. You know, back in the olden days, before you had Baker's Joy with <laughs> the flour already in it, I, this is what I used to watch my grandmother do. Yep. So that's going to give the outside a little crispness. It is. It is. Does that look good? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're going to let this go for a while, about three minutes, and you're going to see it. It turns into almost a, a bit of a gluey mixture. Oh, yeah. So we're going to stop it. Okay. And we are going to add in the rest of this flour. Yeah, that bowl comes in really handy. It really does. And you can buy these bowls separately if you already have a KitchenAid mixer, you can just order the glass bowl part to that. And now we're just going to let this incorporate and then we're going to put it in the pan. It does not take long at all. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to let that go and probably have to do this in the break again. Like I said, there's I know. no rest. There We've is got no so rest. much to do. And when we come back, we're going to set this whole counter up just like Denise's booth at the market and we're going to have everything ready to go and tell you about a contest. So come back with us in just a few minutes. Welcome back, everybody. And oh my goodness, I feel like I'm at Port Royal at the farmer's market know, right now. I know, I know. It's just beautiful. And um, we did two really great breakfast items today. One sweet, one savory. So kind of let's recap just a minute, Denise, and kind of walk through what we learned today, because I learned quite a bit. So we start with our cinnamon rolls, first thing. And the first thing we do with the cinnamon rolls is to uh, mix the milk and the sugar and oil together, get it nice and warm, let it cool down, and then you have to go back. Next step is to do the yeast in the, the um, flour, let it rest, go back. Your final step is to add more flour and your baking powder and your baking soda and salt. Mix that all in really well, let that rest for a while, and then you're ready to go. And you can roll out your dough. After your dough is rolled, I like to make my filling, which is easy with the butter and sugar and cinnamon. Spread that and then have fun with it and roll it up. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Cut it up and put it on the uh, tray. And I like to do mine separately so they don't all run together, which is you know, that's fun too in a traditional city. Well, and roll that pan. makes it your exactly. Roll. That is okay. how I like then to we do went it. into the English Muffin, Muffin bread. bread. Mm -hmm. That's something savory for those folks that aren't too hot on the uh, you know super sweet things for breakfast. And we, it's super easy recipe. You mix your uh, dry ingredients together, melt a little um, butter and milk. Milk, yes. <laughs> butter and milk. I did it. <laughs> together on the stove, mix it into the dry ingredients, and then it's good to go. And you pour it into your pan, let it rise, and bake, and, and it's, it's so done. so pretty. And one of the things that you said, and actually your husband raised his hand and said, oh, I love that, is use that bread to make a pimento cheese grilled mm. sandwich. Delicious. So good. So all right. Good. So now we've got all this laid out. And like I said, this looks like I've walked up to your booth at the farmer's market. So you've got some other products here. Tell I us do. quickly about I do. those. I always bring galettes to the market, which are like a tart. It's a butter pie crust with a fresh fruit filling inside. Mm -hmm. People love them. They're great too to uh, warm them up, plop some ice cream on top. We yes. have our uh, jumbo blueberry muffins 
and I always make some quarter pound chocolate chip cookies. God, why have I never gotten those? I don't know. Well, I'm going to get one today for sure. Absolutely. All right, so one of the main reasons I think you and I were supposed to meet mm -hmm. is that I said to her the very first time I came to her booth, you should be shipping these products. You should be shipping them. And I know a little bit about that. So all of you are going to be guinea pigs. We're going to pick eight people mm -hmm. that are going to be testers, and we're going to ship three of these delicious cinnamon rolls straight to you. So here's the contest. You need to like us on Facebook, share the post, connect with us as to where you're watching from, because we want to know what market you're in, because we're going to choose somebody from each of our eight television markets. Yep. So we certainly want you to do that. And in terms of how this is going to travel, it's going to travel beautifully. And what we want to hear back is, how it arrived, mm -hmm. whether you thought it arrived in good condition, mm -hmm. certainly the flavor and the taste, I can speak for that because I buy stuff every single weekend. So, like I always say on the Very Vera Show, no matter what you do, do it in good taste. I've got a great taste and a guest that I've had today oh, with you. Denise. And certainly next week I want you to come back and join me. Chef Vinny from Sub-Zero Wolf is going to be my guest, and we're going to do a fish fry. Oh. You ought to come to that. Do this I might. Event. A lot of fun. I might come so back. So come back and join us again next week for another episode of The Very Vera Show.